another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at Fans Project CA09 Car Crash, aka Breakdown, who is a stunticon, which means combiner. Hey! Me like a Kermit the Frog. Yay! Anyway, <laughs> so this is Fans Project's first stunticon. They are doing a combiner, uh, Menasaur. They are doing their own Menasaur. Um, the way they're doing it is uh, Breakdown and Wild Rider, and then um, Dead End, and Yellow Guy, Six Wheels, can't think, Drag Strip. Um, he only has four wheels though. And then Motor, and they're all going to be this sized. Um, these are the uh, their causality, that's Fan Project's name for this um, size. And this class, um, and then the Motormaster is going to be a larger figure. So we'll, you know, we'll see. We haven't seen him individually yet, so we don't know what he looks like yet. But we have seen him combined. He does look awesome, and I can't wait. So yeah, you can see he's a uh, Lamborghini-esque car. Very cool. No emblems or anything. He's very, uh, very compact. Um, one thing about this guy is these tolerances on these. This guy is. These, well, these both of them, him and Wild Rider, who you'll be seeing soon. Um, the tolerances on these guys are very, very, very tight. Uh, everything gets combined very, very, very tightly. Uh, there's very, very little margin room for um, when you actually transform them. But uh, we'll get into that in the transformation. Uh, he does roll very, very nicely. Um, the back wheels, you notice they do roll. However, they're kind of fake because what happens is only the outside part rolls. See, the inside part's stationary and just the outside part rolls. Which is fine. It still looks fine. Um, T-Bone or Wild Riders, you can see, are a little bit thicker, but they do still do the same thing. But yeah. Um, so before I actually go into the transformation and talk about this guy a little bit more, I just want to go on like a little two minute rant. Feel free to skip ahead of this, but something you might want to know. I ordered this guy off of uh, Big Bad Toy Store, him and T-Bone. Um, and I just, he came in stock first. And the only reason I ordered them first from I ordered them from Big Bad is because they had the pre-orders up first. So I was like, all right, let me get my pre-order in. I don't want to miss them. Figure came. Um, came on time. Everything was great. Opened them up, and I had a defect. Um, one of the left arm had the right side's bicep, so it had two right side's uh, biceps, and I wasn't able to collapse the arm to transform it. Common problem, you know, it's just an assembly error. Somebody picked the wrong piece out of a bin, put it on wrong. No big deal. Contacted them. Uh, I waited about 36 hours for the first email response, and the response was, give us more pictures. Sent them more pictures. They said, okay, yeah, this is a very, this is, you know, we understand the problem. Send us the figure back and order and pre-order a new one, and we don't have any more right now in stock. And we didn't keep any extra stock for replacements. Really? So I contact I I asked them if they could send me you know just the replacement arm. I don't care. You don't have to give me some new whole new figures. Give me the arm. I'm fine. They said no. We don't have replacement pieces. Great. Happened to mention this on Twitter to TF Source. Who I usually buy my Transformers from, they said to contact them, they might be able to do something for me. And each 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 email to BBTS took at least 24 hours, which was crazy to me. But anyway, I emailed TF Source. About eight or ten hours later, I got a response. The next business, it was the next business. I emailed them at night. Um, they said they are, they do have one. What's the problem? Explained it in detail again. They said okay. A day later, the part was in the mail. Two or three days later, it's in my hands fixed. I did not buy this figure from TF Source. I, I usually do buy my figures from TF Source. But I did not buy him from TF Source and they still fixed it for me. No charge, not even shipping, nothing. Absolutely cool in my book. Um, as soon as that happened, I quickly canceled my order for him, my pre-order for him. Got my order from him, for him from TF Source. Canceled all my Transformers from BBTS. Moved them all back over to TF Source. Don't even know why I had them at, B B at BBTS, but I'm needless to say very disappointed in the experience I had with Big Bad, and we'll try not to do as much business with them in the future. 
So just something to be aware of, uh, just a little rant. If you use BBTS and you love them, more power to you, use them. They are, for the most part, great. However, I don't like the fact that they didn't keep extra stock for replacements. Seems a little fishy. Anyway, I digress. That's my experience. Take from it what you will. But overall, now I am a very happy camper. So yeah, so, whoa. Connection point for the combiner, just so you know, is right here. Um, they do kind of like slide on to the leg. They're kind of like armor pieces more so than actual legs. That's how he was in the show. It's not how the toy was, but believe me, the overall look is very, very cool. Um, his guns do store in the back here. His tailpipes. Right here. And they just slot on. Alright, so let's get down to the transformation. Um, you do see that the, the gun is in two halves. And it just slots on the back here. And it creates the tailpipes, which is pretty cool. Neat little way to store them. Um, they do slot on here very tightly. So I want to try to get them out now. One. You know what? I don't want to pull on this tailpipe piece to get the other side off, so I'm just going to leave that connected for now. I'll take the, that half of the gun off for now. We'll get that later. You can leave that on. You, you don't even have to take that off if you don't want to. Um, but you want to do is pull them at the waist. It will come in two parts. Um, we'll do the we'll do the arms first. Just separate. They're pegged in here and up here. And like I said, the tolerances on these guys are very tight. Just kind of wiggle it. And fold this, uh, fold this piece back. And now I can Wow, that's really on there. There we go. Pull that off, get that out of the way. This really doesn't want to come out. Come on, you son of a... Come on. There we go. Just pull the arms out of the way. There you go. Pull them out. Pull them out. Now the legs. These guys, this, this guy, the legs are very compact. And like I said, the tolerances are very, very tight, especially in the legs. So what you want to do is you want to split the legs, and then there are these little doors on the inside. You can see when I split the legs, I actually push the doors open. So what you want to do is you want to open the door, unfold the leg, and then fold it out. Now you notice there's a hole. See that hole? Right there. I believe there's one on the other side as well. Yeah. So you see the, the, the yeah. see that white peg? White peg. And there's another little blue peg on this side, but it's more like a nub. Yeah, not really. Actually, Wild Rider does have two pegs, but he really only has one. What you want to do is you want to bend this in like that. And then when you, it'll stop because it, you know, it's hitting that peg. So what you have to do is you actually have to flex the plastic. So you need to pull the plastic away and then slot it in. It makes this incredibly strong, but you do have to bend the plastic and you're basically bending it at the screws almost. Uh, it is a little disheartening, it is a little squeamish. But honestly, I've done the transform both of these guys you know, several times with no issue, so I wouldn't be too worried about it. Close that door. Now you want to come up to the front and wiggle this free. And then you want to push the tire in and then fold it down. So, as you can see, there's like a little nook where that wheel just sits. It doesn't lock in, it just sits. And then with the foot, this, this uh, headlight section and the front of the hood becomes the foot. And I always have difficulty with this. But you don't want to just split it in half because you'll 
crack it over here in the corner. It's kind of on like on a double hinge, so you kind of like want to push it down and then under that piece and then flatten it out. So basically, that's the foot. Right? No, that. I try to have to find the knee right like that. So as you see, the wheel just rests in that well and it just sits down on there like that and creates the foot like so. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. So again, you fold it out. Lift it up and push it in. Close that little door. Break this open over here, just kind of wiggle this. Um, lift the hood at the same time, push the wheel in. Come around here. Again, this hood always, there we go. All right, so the trick is on this side, you want to push, hold on. You want to push this way, that way, and then push this that way. And then that will kind of loosen them up and that will allow you to bend out the foot. Again, this just sits in there. Push them back at the torso. Stand him up. Um, then the the uh, tail lights are actually on this like double. You can see it in there. They're on this like hinge right there. It works on like a ball joint and a swivel, so you can actually position these any way you want along that that range of motion. Um, I like to push them out just so they're out of the way. So you can see the difference. Like That's how it is during transformation. So you can see the difference. And then I just like to move them up and out, out, out of the way. And there we have Car Crash in his robot mode. For his gun now, you just take it. And there's a hole in the front. Let me take this, make sure the grip is on the bottom. Plug it in, and there's his gun. Very cool. I actually do really like his gun. I don't know why. I just do. Um, take a look at his awesome face. Look at that. There's no light piping, it is all painted. But I do really, really, really like his face. So as far as articulation, head is on a swivel. Actually a ball, I'm sorry. It is on a ball. Yes, it's on a ball. Shoulders are on a ball all the way around and they also have this in and out swivel. So you get some pretty pretty great, good range of motion there. Um, waist 360 degrees. Hips are on a universal or a ball. They're on a ball. Um, bends at the knee. That's far, about that far. Um, the door on the back actually stops the range of motion. Um, actually has forward motion too, like that straight and you get a little bit forward. Um, feet are on balls and they also have that pivot point for the transformation. So you got some pretty good articulation range of motion there. Um, you can also store his gun on the back because of the slots, you can just slot them in here, either one. Just make sure the fat one goes in the fat one, the skinny goes in, goes in the skinny one, you know, either one you want to use. And you can actually reach back and grab his own gun, which is always fun. So yeah, here we have him. In robot mode. Now a lot of people were complaining that this guy is too small. In both modes. Um, I say compare him to other, other figures in the causality in the causality line, especially combiners. So, I picked this guy off the shelf. This is, I believe his name is Warcry. Uh, he is the um, the swindle for Bruticus. So this is just a repaint of him with different weapons. Um, I love the, him in Blastoff. Um, 
uh, Munitioner. Oh, that's his, that's his fake name. And I believe Flame Blast is his repaint name. I believe his name is Warcry and... Oh no, I'm sorry. Blastoff is Explorer, Swindle is Munitioner. Um, so this is Munitioner's repaint as I think Warcry is his name. Um, they just re-released, re you know, they just repainted them. And re-released them as new characters. Um, and I dig the mold so much that I bought them. Because I think they're awesome. And they are awesome. And his gun fell off. And that's okay, we don't need his gun. But, these guys are both combiners. They are both made by Fans Project, so I believe this is a fair comparison. Bam. He's got a good inch over his head. He's overall... Um, this guy might have a little bit more plastic just because he's got this big ass hood in front section. But I mean, I don't understand how <clears throat> he's too small. I mean, anybody that says he's too small should take a look at these guys. And uh, Colossus, which is their uh, Bruticus. Because there's really, I don't understand how you can say he's too small. Uh, he's actually a ridiculously fun figure. He's ridiculously poseable, and he just he just looks so amazing um, that I think everybody who's interested in the Thundercons should go out and buy him. So if you do want him, pick him up. If you do see him, just pick him up because um, there's only one more run coming out, and after that they're gone forever. And Fans Project usually doesn't rerun things unless they have a reason to, like repaint them and I don't see a reason to repaint these guys so yeah there this has been the video review for fans project causality CA CA09 car crash aka breakdown